Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now before we get started, I have had a few questions saying why am I not always filming up in the realm? Well the reason being is I've got a few projects underway such as Coffee Table Enclosure 2.0 and the UK Bug Enclosure and literally there's bits everywhere for them all over the place i have to clamber over even to go to bed at the moment so while these things are underway it's really difficult for me to set up lighting and camera equipment as well as the fact that i'd have to hide all of it because i don't want you nosy guys to go and have a look i know how you work you look in the backgrounds and you look for little details that you can pick out and go aha caught you there so that is why we're not always in the realm at the moment but today we're looking at the C. femoralis, the armoured or thorny cricket. Now if anyone remembers Pavarotti, he was sort of a little mascot for us for a while and he unfortunately had some sort of abdominal problem. I think there was a prolapse, something had come out of his abdomen, it went all weird, mushy and he died. Um, he was one of my favourite inverts I've ever, ever owned. But if you have been watching my videos, you will know that I picked up another one that I believe to be female. So we are going to name this one after Pavarotti's widow. I hope that's not um, going to offend anyone or it was not to be insulting. It was just to keep with the theme. And I believe if I've got it right, her name was Nicoletta. So let's have a little look at Nicoletta. So here she is. For the moment, she's just resting on a houseplant. I'm hoping she doesn't actually eat that house plant. I've just placed her here while we set up an enclosure for her. I love how they have that sort of baked bean sort of looking face. And then that leads on to that armored exoskeleton with those red spines sticking out the back. I mean, it looks like she's actually some sort of barbarian with some sort of shield of bone hanging out just placed upon her back there. They have got to be my absolute favourite thing to own so far. The problem is, I struggle to find accurate care information about these, but I do know that they tend to reside in Nigeria. At least they tend to come in a lot of Nigerian shipments across the stores where I buy from. So what I'm going to do is, like I did with Pavarotti, I'm going to put in a soil substrate with some climbing branches, water dish, food dish and have a little bit in the corner of the substrate damp and the rest completely dry. That just gives Nicoletta the chance to have a slightly more humid and a drier side and I will see which she prefers to be on. So this is Pavarotti's old enclosure here. It has been uh, kind of dusty for a while so I gave it a very quick spruce. And now we're going to sort out some sort of design. You know I like my twisty branches like in the phallax enclosure. Well I thought this one was pretty cool. So we're going to pop that in a corner, try and wedge it in like so. Some old dried but still green moss. For a little bit of luck. now just water dish food dish so in the back corner I've already placed a water dish now I'm using my homemade premium bug grub here for a food dish I'm putting it completely on the opposite side now Pavarotti used to love eating this stuff and then we're also going to put a slice of apple in fact let's try and uh, see if we can wedge this apple up here somewhere it might not stay but we'll give it a go. Now, let's get Nicoletta into her new home. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about picking her up. I've not actually held Nicoletta since I purchased her, and these do have a nasty nip. However, Pavarotti never, ever bit me. But each to their own, they all have their own temperaments. I'm just gonna get rid of the moisture on my hand there. There we go. No, 
no signs of biting yet, but she is. Has her face very low on my hands. Let's get her in. See if she'll head off. Uh, look at that, look. Straight towards that piece of apple there. Now I actually thought she was heading to the apple to eat it, but it looked like she just wanted some higher ground. So she's chilling out at the top, which gives us an opportunity to take a little look at her. Now I've zoomed in on her abdomen here. You see there's got the two little prongs at the top, which is the same sort of what a male would have, but underneath there is something a little bit prominent, a little sort of hook hanging out there which would be the development of her ovipositor, providing I've got that correct. And this is why I do believe this is a female, as Pavarotti never had one of these. Now, as I said, there's not a lot of information about these folks on the internet. I'm presuming captive breeding is possible, but um, she's definitely not mature yet because she's a lot smaller than Pavarotti was. So I do need to get my hands on another one of these. I will be attending the Brighton show in November, so hopefully they have some there. I know there's a few online, but I just can't afford to get any more in at the moment. Even the spines on those legs have that awesome sort of blood red colour to them. A little bit prickly when she walks on you, but it doesn't hurt. I love how that sort of shield effect on her back and the top horns kind of poking out either side there. She really looks like a true hunter. One thing I do know about these from Keeping Pavarotti is they tend to be omnivores. So she'll eat a mixture, or at least he did, eat a mixture of my bug grub, fruit, veg, and actually eat other insects. I put the test in by accident actually when I didn't realise my substrate had a stick insect egg in it and when it hatched I looked at it and I thought oh I need to put you somewhere next thing I know Pavarotti's chomping away at it uh, it doesn't seem to chase they're very slow crickets they don't seem to be chasing prey but if there's dead prey in there they'll probably eat it and that stick insect was alive but not very quick and he ate that so can't complain with an omnivore, it just makes life so much easier on feeding day. I like how she's sensing her surroundings with her antenna there. When I moved the enclosure, they were going wild. God, these are absolutely amazing. I think every single invertebrate hobbyist should have one of these. Oh, they're just so awesome. I could literally watch her all day long. Well, there's not much more I can say about Nicoletta here until I uh, find some stuff out for myself by keeping her. I seem to do pretty well with Pavarotti. I'm almost certain he was fully mature before he had his abdominal problems. So hopefully we can do the same with her. I'll tell you what, if I lose this one, I am going to be so, so gutted. One final shot of her, eventual shot through the glass, got a plumpus rumpus just like uh, Pavarotti did. There's another look at that ovipositor there, definitely prominent, it's got to be female, no doubt about it. Some might think that's ugly, but I think she's adorable. So before we go, I'd like you all to pop a comment below for me and let me know your true opinions on Nicoletta here, or thorny crickets in general. Is it just me that thinks she is a beautiful animal, that she is cute, that she is fascinating in all ways possible? Is it just me because I'm into this hobby and I clearly like invertebrates? You know, does anyone else actually feel the same? about her. Would you like me to feature Nicoletta more on this channel? Would you like me to try and bring her as a sort of mascot that I was going to try and do with Pavarotti before his sad passing? Saying that, let's hope I just don't mess up with her too. Although I don't think Pavarotti's was a mess up on my part. I think that was an issue with him, but still, God, I miss him.
I really miss him. Anyway, we're going off track. If you want to see what else dwells within the realm, make sure to pop back on the channel weekly for multiple uploads. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.